Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel and thank you for being here and for tuning in. I'm Valencia with Val 33 Tarot and with Spirit and we're just going to jump right in here and see what's going on with you today, Gemini, all right? This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, the North Notes. Of course, it's not going to resonate with all of you, uh, but for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed777 and I do offer same-day personal readings. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. All right, Gemini, I'm going to shuffle all the cards out and then I'll tell you what I see here for you. Oop, hold on here. Got a card that flipped here for you. Here, another card flipped here for you. Okay, and another one. Gemini, so uh, um, oh, Gemini, yeah, well, Gemini, I mean, okay, this is only to one Gemini I'm talking to. You're very successful, you're in the public eye, okay, you have a YouTube channel, and you are pissed off that your ex knows about tarot. You guys were sleeping with each other. And because she's smart and knows how to put things together, you leave the reading pissed off who she goes to get guidance from, knowing that... So you're blaming two people or a couple or relationship outside of you that somehow your ex goes to for information and because she's acting different you're like fucking pissed at those people because you don't you're no longer you can't use her anymore you can't get what you wanted out of her anymore i'm only talking to one male gemini right now and i don't you know I, that's i'm sorry it sucks i'm sure you know um <sighs> So there's that. That's not for all of you. Like I said, it's just one specific Gemini that's like, what the fuck? Like, why is she acting different? Like, why can't I sleep over anymore? Or why can't I? You know, it's like, because she's your ex, dude. And you keep making out with your best friend and dudes. So it's like, figure out your sexuality and quit using her. Okay? Like, quit using her like that. It's heartbreaking for her. All right. And you know that you're the ex that knows she would try again with you if you said it. And it's like, don't be fucked up like that, Gemini. Karma is real and it will come back to bite you in the ass. And it's already has been and you know it. That's just for one Gemini. Now the rest of you. Because um, I see that very clearly and I'm like, I don't know what to tell you, Gemini, because you equally go to tarot readers too for information to figure out how to manipulate her and your little buddies that you live with in the house. And it's like, come on, don't, don't we get mad at her, Gemini. Come on, Gemini. Like, come on now. Like, stop. Like, you're doing the same damn thing, Gemini. Come on. Like, okay. So just chill out. You'll be fine. 
okay? You'll be fine. Now, the rest of you, in general, overall, you start out, you know, kind of like, you know you're wasting your time, your money, and your energy on something or someone, but then some of you may question, like, are you wasting your time with investments or how you spend time? Others of you just don't give a shit to invest in work, and you, you're just like, I don't, I'm tired of it, I don't care. But you could be associating yourself with a bunch of people to not really try that hard financially, so either or. Now, you start out guarded but in a way where you are setting some walls and boundaries and protecting yourself, okay? Now, a lot's getting revealed. The unknown is revealing itself, right? And you're trying to trust the process, but also understand what the fuck is this? Then this is where, you know, it's a few things here, Gemini. Now, and this is for all of you. I'm not talking to that one specific male Gemini, okay, who is a successful YouTuber. <laughs> um, the rest of you. It's either too much got revealed and either you realize, you know, um, you don't want to heal from what is obviously very painful deep down inside of you. You're not ready to let go. You're not ready to move on. Some of you could be in a marriage or relationship right now with someone and you, you just, you know it's over, but you just can't break up with them yet, right? So either or of all those things. It's caused you to get obsessive, fixated, irritated, chaotic, my way, the highway. You don't want to see it from no one's perspective. But then all of a sudden, you, even you realize like, well, damn, I need to move on and move forward. I can't, I can't take this anymore. And you end something here. You actually mentally, emotionally choose to be done. And that's what starts to stress you out though. You lose sleep. Sorry, uh-oh, I went deaf in my, 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 my uh, right ear. Okay. You know when it's like, it goes shoom, shoom, and it's like, Okay, anyway, so um, you lose sleep, you stress out, you freak out, but then even you know Gemini, and this is why Gemini to the first, the guy, look, I, I'm, I, I, you know, uh, let's just say you guys are younger. You guys are like 25, 27, I don't even know. I'm 32. I adore you and your trio, your group, you and your roommates and your ex. I adore you guys, okay? I really do. You're intelligent and you know it. You've already healed and moved on. I'm talking to all of you now. You, like, it's not even depressing to you anymore. It used to be. And you know that when, to the one Gemini male, she used to depress the fuck out of you. You broke up with her for a reason, right? So let it be done, right? Now the rest of you, just all of you in general, even that one Gemini, um, even you realistically know like, ah, oh, damn, all right, fuck, it's done. You know what I'm saying? Like something's over, like something's like, you know, and you're healing from that. There you go being, going back to work or spending time with, you know, someone at work and trying to work with things with them. But regardless, like you, you choose to be independent, you do well with your job, okay? And then there's something here about that or a person, work-wise, business-wise, business, business -wise, where you just don't want to change your ways. You don't want to reflect. You're like, hmm, no, 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 you know, very Gemini, okay? Um, but then this is where you actually like, you know what? Fine, slow and steady wins the race. Let me focus on myself. Let me put in the hard work and the effort. There you go getting clarity. There you go feeling calm and conservative and neutral and aware, okay? And... A lot of you are like, fine, I, let me just, you know, let me try again here and, and commit to my marriage or relationship. Let me stay here. A lot of you are um, realizing that the contract you're in, you got to stay in it for until it's done, right? And then that could be a mess. But you're like, well, fuck, what do I do, right? Um, others of you, this is where there's something about a, a couple, okay, a marriage outside of you that you're dealing with. Or you end up going to guidance, spiritual, religious guidance to Gemini to get your answers. And you don't like what the masculine had to say or the feminine because they both gave you a little taste of Gemini energy. <laughs> okay. When you're a Gemini sun, have you met a Gemini moon? Yeah. Hiya. How's it going? It ain't me. <laughs> I'm just saying. You met a match in a different way and you're like, well, fuck, you know what I mean? And you guys kind of end it, sadly, aggressive, irritated, feeling victimized, but knowing you're doing something in the wrong, Gemini. You're not getting up and planning or taking action or doing something. You're feeling guarded, like, how dare you pick on me? And it's like, no, Gemini, you know what you're doing, Gemini. And I'm, I'm saying it this because, like, you crack me up. 
Okay, Geminis are hilarious. I think they're genuinely one of my favorite zodiac signs too because you guys are ruthless and cold when you need to be and when you know how to get shit done, you're fucking fast. And I appreciate that because your cold matches my Aries moon coldness and fierceness. Okay, so I have a, a love with the Geminis, okay? Am I biased? Maybe my husband's a Gemini moon, but still at the same time, Geminis are great, <laughs> you know? So regardless of what's going on, you know what's happening here, Gemini, okay? You know what you involved yourself in. And so that's why I say it that way, all right? Like I said, it's not for all of you, it's for some, and it's not gonna resonate with all of you, but that's all I had to say in regards to that. The other thing is to the, a lot of you are gonna, you know, a lot of you kind of feel like whoever you used to deal with, they're treating you differently. So you're like, well, fine, I'm gonna match your energy and treat you different too. Knowing that you're the one heartbroken, you're the one defensive and guarded and feeling victimized when you know what you did, Gemini. All right, you'll be fine, Gemini. You're a Gemini, you'll be fine. Just chill out, okay? <laughs> All right, so I got for you. Uh, you could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or, okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, so all zodiac signs here, okay, so it could be anyone, all right, all right, you're fine, come on, Gemini, you'll be okay, all right, I still support and applaud all you, okay, just, you know what you need to do, all right, bye.